and I'm going to do an introductory uh, chair based stretching and exercise class okay um, so before I begin I just want to let anybody know that this video whenever we finish will still be available on the Facebook page if you want to go over it again um, and <clears throat> I'll probably put it up as a YouTube link as well if you want to share it with anybody that perhaps isn't on Facebook okay so the video will stay even when the class finishes um, it's a very general introduction to stretching and uh, exercise strength based exercises from a chair um, and then whenever you go through uh, and look at my other videos you'll find a kind of a more progressive chair based exercise class in amongst all my videos okay so if you enjoy this and you feel that you can do a little bit more have a look down through the video list and you'll, <coughs> you'll see a lot excuse me a longer more challenging uh, chair based class so uh, we'll get stuck in okay it's not going to take long it's going to take about maybe 10 15 minutes 15 20 minutes uh, as I say it's a really general introduction to chair based exercise okay so I'm set up here for little things to look for Ide ideally if you can you want a chair with little arms on it that can support you left and right if not it doesn't really matter okay but you want a nice back support okay so no bar stools or nothing like that you want to support them behind you okay so if we can what we're going to do is scooch forward in the chair okay so our back is not leaning against the backrest okay so i'm kind of self-supporting myself so i'm up tall you can see the backrest is behind me i've moved forward ever so slightly so what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to go through a range of stretching exercises and then we'll go through a few strength based exercises all right so if you can scoot yourself forward just slightly okay so that there's a gap behind you sit up as tall as possible but totally relaxed so up tall shoulders back but you're nice and relaxed okay so we're going to start at the top of our body and work the whole way down and give ourselves a little stretch out so we're going to start with now is head circles okay so what i'm going to do is big big circles i'm going to go one direction do five or six going one direction that's number three number four stay sitting up tall number five number six okay and now i'm going to go the other way all the way down back behind me to some big big circles trying not to move any other part of your body that's three that's four number five and number six okay so still staying up tall if you find your back is tiring by all means scooch back and sit into the chair sit tall into the chair so try not to lean back try to scooch the lower part of your back into the chair so you're sitting up as tall as possible so if you can scooch yourself forward again okay so up tall not relying on the back brace if you can okay so we've done the head and neck let's move down to the shoulders so totally relaxed the only thing i want you to do now is move the shoulders so let's do five or six circles with the shoulders so nothing is moving other than the shoulders there's number three number four number five big big circles moving forward if you can and number six okay the same thing i'm going in reverse number one number two number three four big circles working the shoulder joint number five and number six perfect just relax for a second you scooch back just take a few seconds and i'm going to show you the next movement okay so the next movement we're back in the middle of the chair again we're sitting up as tall as possible okay that's a good way to work your core and your back strength by just sitting up tall with good posture getting out of this forward lean all right sitting up tall shoulders back try to get a little pinch between the shoulder blades so we'll go to the next movement so just drop the hands to your sides okay what I want you to do is bring the arms behind you just as far as you can reach and take a breath in. Now take a breath out and reach overhead. One. Breath in on the way back. Breath out as you reach overhead. Two. Let's do ten of these. Three. So breath in as you come back. Breath out as you reach overhead. Four. You should feel a big stretch coming up your spine. Breath in, breath out, that's number five. Breath in, breath out, number six. Seven. Eight. Number nine. 
number 10. Excellent. And relax. Okay, again, scoot yourself back if you need a little rest. Then we're going to work into the next position. So we're still stretching for now. Okay, so again, working our way down the spine. Scoot yourself forward again. Sit up nice and tall. This time, hands to the side of the ears. Okay, so just barely touching behind your ears. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep looking straight ahead. And what I want you to do is turn to one side, breathe in, come back to the center. Turn to the other side. Breathe in, come back to the center. Turn to one side. Back to the center. Looking one way. Back to the center. Look the other way. Back to the center. One way. Back to the center. The other way. Back to the center. And relax. Okay, so we've worked our spine, we've kind of stretched it, we'll put a little twist of left and right. So we'll do one more movement for our spine. So we're going to roll down. So if you can, just straight the legs out in front of you. Okay, so there's my legs. So legs straight out in front of me. So here's what I'm going to do. My hands are on my thighs. If you can, this is what I want you to go for. I want you to take a nice deep breath in. I want you to breathe out and run your hands down your legs. You're aiming for your shins, aiming for your toes. Breathe in as you come all the way back up. Sit up tall, the position we began in. And breathe out and reach. Just go down as low as you're comfortable with. Breathe in, come back, sit up tall, shoulders back. Breath out. All the way down. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in, up tall, shoulders back, breath out. Breath in, let's do one more, breath out. And relax and sit back. Don't know about you guys, but I'm already starting to get warm in here. Alright, so that's the spine being stretched, we twist a little to the left, twist a little to the right, and then we'll open up all those vertebrae by stretching forward. Okay, so the back's probably feeling pretty good now. So Again, sit in the middle of your chair if you can, arms out to your sides. We're just going to work the shoulders a little bit. So I want you to do big circles, let's do five circles going forwards, okay? So keep the arms as straight as possible. You want those circles as wide as you can manage. That's number four and number five. And bring it to a rest. Now let's go the opposite direction. Big, big circles. There's one, so you're sitting up as tall as possible. Two, three, Four, five, perfect. Okay, now you can sit back into your chair and relax. So, if you can, let's straighten both legs out in front. Okay, so I'm just going to lift one foot so you can see what's happening there. All I want you to do is make little circles. Pick one foot, and I want you to make little circles. So you can see that at the bottom of your screen there. I'm doing four or five little circles going in one direction. That's number five, and stop now. Go four. Or five little circles going in the other direction. That's number three, number four, and number five. Perfect. Okay. So you only barely need to lift the foot off the floor. I'm just lifting it up so that you can see it on the screen. Okay. Otherwise, keep it quite low. Let's go five little circles going in one direction. Four, five, and now go the other way. One, two, three, four. Five. Perfect. So that's the warm up, okay? That's the full body stretch, and we haven't left the chair, alright? So that's what's warmed up, fully stretched out. So now I'm going to move on to just a few really simple, easy strength exercises that you can do at home and you don't need any accessories at all, okay? Although it's very easy to add bands or small weights or empty bottles of milk, alright? One litre bottle of milk or two litre bottle of milk, rinse it out, fill it with water, have one in this hand, have one in the other hand. That's your weight, so you don't need to go out and be buying the weights, okay? You can always use bits and pieces you find around the house. But for this afternoon, no equipment at all, just from the seat. All right, so what I'd like us to do, if you can, scooch forward again to the middle of your seat so your back is not supported. You're supporting your own back. If you can, otherwise back into the chair. Up tall, hands on the armrests, or hands gently resting on the knees, okay? So what I want you to do is lift the knees straight up in the air, pause, and put it down. And the other knee straight up in the air, pause, put it down. That's 
that's two, okay? Straight up, pause, put it down, that's three. Up, pause, down, that's four. Up, down slowly, that's five. So up, down, very delicately putting it down, that's six. Up, and down we go, that's seven. Up, down we go, all the while you're staying up tall. Up, that's number nine. And up, and down we go, that's number 10. And relax for a little second, perfect. So we've done the lower body exercise. Now we're gonna to move to an upper body exercise. Okay, again, sit back into the seat whenever your back needs a rest, and whenever you're able, scooch forward, sit up tall, shoulders back, open up your chest. Let's drop the hands to the sides. I'm actually turning forward so you can see what's going on here. So dropping the hands to the sides. So again, no equipment for this one. We're gonna work the elbow joint, the upper arms, and the shoulders, okay? So always looking after our mobility. So what I want you to do is come up and reach for your shoulders, reach to the sky, reach to your shoulders, down to your sides. That counts as one, okay? We'll do 10 of these. So shoulders up, shoulders down. Stay up tall, shoulders up, shoulders down. That's three, shoulders up, shoulders down, that's four, shoulders, up, shoulders, down, that's five, keep going, shoulders, up, shoulders, down, that's six, shoulders, up, shoulders, down, that's seven, shoulders, up, shoulders, down, shoulders, up, shoulders, down and relax you can sit back into the seat so where i mentioned having the two empty cartons of milk all right or whatever you have two tins of beans okay any tins at all in your hands okay that would be a good exercise grab two tins same type of tins or same type of bottles if you've got bottles of water make sure both are the same or the same amount of water you can do that exercise there all right bringing in a little bit of resistance, also helping with your grip, okay? So you don't need weights, so you just look around the house and see what can I find, two things that are the same weight that you can hold in your hands. All right, so let's go back to a lower body exercise, okay? So we've done lower body, we did upper body, now we're going back to a lower body exercise, okay? So sitting back into your chair this time, okay? So this time I want you to sit back into here. So lift the knee, straighten the leg out, bring it back in, put it down, that's one. So lift the other knee, Straighten that leg out, bring it back, put it down, that's two. We're going for 10 of these, so up, out, in, and down, that's three. Up, out, in, and down, that's four. Up, out, in, and down, that's five. Don't ever hold your breath, all right? Always breathing, in, and down, that's six. Up, out, in, and down, that's seven. Up out, in, and down, that's eight, up, out, in, and down, number nine, up, out, in, down, number ten, all right, so those quads, these big muscles at the top of your leg, they're probably burning now, okay, so the slower you do the, move, the movement, the more challenging it becomes, okay, if you're struggling at the beginning, you can move a little quicker, okay, and then as you start to get a little stronger, you want to be able to slow it down so you can keep that leg out there, bring it back in slowly and put it back down. Perfect. Okay, so with the lower, upper, with the lower again, let's go to an upper body exercise. So at the moment, we'll be sitting back into the chair. Let's scooch ourselves forward again if you can. So sort of tall, so you're away from the back of the chair. All right, so it's going to be a little shoulder blade squeeze. So I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what's going on here. So that's the way I would sit normally, all right? So, hands up my sides, my hands on my thighs. What I want you to do is bring the shoulder blades back, get a squeeze between the shoulder blades, and relax. But I want you to stay up tall. Okay, so squeeze the shoulder blades back, and relax. So what we're doing now is we're working all the muscles behind us, across the, our upper back. Okay, so squeeze the shoulder blades back, open up the chest, and relax, that's three. Squeeze, and relax, that's four. Squeeze, relax, that's five. Squeeze, relax, that's six. So bring those shoulders back and relax, that's seven. Squeeze, relax, that's number eight. Squeeze, relax, number nine. Squeeze, 
relax and retain and have a little breather okay so we've warmed up we've done our stretching we've done two lower body exercises we've done two upper body exercises now we need to focus on this middle part here okay so we'll do some setups some chair based setups okay totally doable and totally beneficial okay I can feel them when I'm doing them in the chair, all right? So done correctly, these guys will really work your tummy muscles. So I'm gonna stay sitting sideways so you can see what's going on. So as much as possible, I'd like you to sit to the front of the chair, okay? As much as possible, okay? Without losing your balance, get yourself forward, okay? And again, I'm just gonna sit up tall. So there's the back of my chair back there. I'm gonna sit up tall, okay? I'm looking straight ahead. So what I wanna do is lean back, and come forward again so keeping my body as straight as possible all the way back you've got the security of knowing the chairs behind you so i know i can go all the way back the chairs there and then come all the way forward too but what i want you to do is to try and go back barely touch the chair so don't put much of your weight on it and come forward okay so that's three let's do seven more of these so keep looking straight ahead barely touch and up four all the way back if you feel those tummy muscles about now they should be nice and tight up tall that's five so lean back you're totally safe and up that's six lean back and up that's seven lean back and up that's eight that's number nine Lean back and up. Number 10. That's us. Okay. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. So that was just a real short introduction to chair based stretching and chair based strength exercises with nothing other than chair. All right. We used nothing else at all. Okay. But remember the little tips I showed you about using uh, jars in your house, tins in your house? empty bottles of milk okay rinse them out one liter is about one kilogram so that's about two pounds two liters that's two kilograms of two liter milk two liter uh, two kilograms so that's about four pounds okay You're doing it with that there okay those little exercises coming out to the sides all right so you don't really need equipment all you really need to do is stay mobile okay look after your joint health stay as mobile as possible keep moving so that whole class between me babbling at the start babbling at the end that whole thing took about 15 minutes okay so very very doable okay and i can see you can tell i'm really warm and hot and sweaty in here from doing it so it definitely works okay my advice is do these things little and do them often that's the most important thing okay so surely we can all find 10 15 minutes a day to do a little bit of exercise and then as you progress then you can start bringing in a little bit of challenges okay making things a little bit more challenging for yourself i hope you've enjoyed that okay um look after yourselves um, and thanks for or to the old county council for the opportunity to send this out to you guys um remember this is available again it'll be stored on my facebook page and if you know how there's a way to share your screen onto your tv or maybe use a tablet or a laptop or a computer so the screen's bigger instead of looking at that small screen thanks for your attention and uh, look after yourselves and i'll see you all soon bye